And I'll be honest with you, so no utility to speak of. Suggest something very aggressive, and they're sending four players over towards the banana side, but they're not pushing down. It's going to be the old bait and switch. Jacob dies, they think it's an open bomb site, and they might help themselves uh, to a, a B stack. We'll see. Not, yeah. a si not a single set of jewelies either, so eyes Ooh. on the Glock, and it is going to be this simple. This is by design. They want Jacob to go down in a way. Just so they think, oh, yeah, they, they want to the lure you into that B here, right? Exactly, and it's yeah. working in a way. Well, so all you got to do now is get the kills to complete things. Here we go. So you've sacrificed to the gods. Let's see if it pays off. Navi will come crashing down on this B-side. It is the setup designed to deal with this attack. Smokes are up. Utilities in. Molotov might heat things up a little too much for Kixan. He is overcooked. Uh -oh. Well done. And now Sassanito, he has everything to do. His teammates have fallen without a single kill. And even though they had the perfect setup to deal with the B play, it is just perfectly executed by Navi. I don't necessarily know what maybe the best option would be because it almost feels like once that Molotov comes in and forces him out in the open, you kind of, that's the trap being sprung in a way, right? Like it's almost like you kind of got to swing out of your positions and help him in the open. I don't think they're anticipating the Molotov to be in the play yeah. and towards a pistol round. Normally the smoke's at the very most, but the Molotov and the flashbang combo, it was just perfectly executed. After finding the opening kill as well, simple. Gave him the space, and like we said, it was the setup designed to deal with this. But if the no second Orange's guy is peeking while JL yeah, is right. taking that fight... I guess it felt like all was lost at this point. He maybe he could yeah. deny the plant, and maybe they could do something with it, but uh, no, it, it all falls apart. And they're going to bring on the shotguns now. Nova. Nork has got the Nova. Yeah. What is going on here? He's starting the trend. He has already started this trend. has come into day two of Group C. And all right. Well, the Nova's, what, like $900, right? 900 so, yeah, yeah, you get go. a lot of money back off of it, right? When you when you get those couple of kills and you paid for yourself. So one kill break even gun. All right, let's see if he's got anything in the tank. Okay, it will be Imma attacking towards top middle. Doesn't come away with a kill, but does come away with his life. Yeah, when you see someone that close up, you get real paranoid about there being some kind of a stack on both sides of mid. So no reason to press the issue. Yeah. You don't want to be the meat in the sandwich. No, not in this situation. Maybe in others. You know, others wouldn't be bad. Like you in this seating arrangement, Jason. What's that? Like you in this seating arrangement. Yeah, I am the meat in this seating arrangement. This is the kind. Of, this is the kind of meat you like to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll let you two deal with that. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Sandwiches, meats, <laughs> everything in the middle. Um, for now, Navi do have mid control at the very least. Uh, still up against five players. Sassanito patrolling towards the arch side. MP9 in hand. And in terms of the finish here, you'd assume it would be towards the A side, but JL has banana control. 30 seconds here, and the opening kill was everything. If they manage to push them back there, you never know. Oh. The Nova shotgun might be able to oh. find the kill, but needs to get a bit more in terms of practice for the shotgun. It's going to be a five versus two round over. Kixan and Jacob with nothing to do. Yeah, you definitely need the headshot with that thing, right? You, know, you see the double shot to the body, it barely takes your health off a bit. It's like a musket, kind of. Would have been fine with the auto shotting. True. A bit more expensive, though. Yeah. Well, that's 2-0 for Navi. I think Inferno, given how uncompetitive Anubis was, I do worry for Apex's level coming into the series. and. Sure, I can worry about the the negatives, but I think I'll look at the positives for this game. And it is Navi just having fun, playing well together. You know, Jason, you were saying yesterday on the sofa, this could be the event for Navi to take a step forward and actually show some of that positive progress, right? And I think uh, so far, so good from from Navi. Yeah, waiting on like a, a deeper test, right? Like of this course, is this is a nice, loss, this is a nice little test. I'd love to see them go up against a phase, but yeah, like the the, the lifespan of this roster has really just kind of been like waiting to see them get that improvement. And that's, I mean, it's not really a criticism. They changed a lot into this team, obviously, and a lot of moving parts to it. The communication issues as well, switching to English international. So yeah, just like their first two events didn't really get you anything to get excited about, and uh, hopefully this one gives you, shows you something that makes you think that this lineup is going to be dangerous moving forward. Well, the shotguns are out again. I don't know what's happening. Uh, Shotgun fever here. Max Pro 7 League. now on the CT side. Kicksand steps up to the plate, and he Boom. might have an opening frag available. Oh, he does. And there's actually a couple. This is actually getting out of hand. What's just gone down there? Jacob with the kill through the smoke. They've got a five on three. Yeah, and I think that really they want to try and press the issue. He doesn't like that he couldn't get on a boiler, but they wanted to try and take some space over towards the other side of the map. 
after the banana players go down, not available to him, so it's going to settle into a 3v5. Still recoverable, considering the rifles that Navi have. Well, the Mag 7 at the half wall was actually popularized first by Ships, the Bulgarian player, right? He loves to use this on Inferno. He has done it for the early portions of CSGO, and it was pretty effective for him. Let's see if Kicksack can get another crack at his Mag 7 up on top of first oranges. Has got a little messy so far for Navi, but it's not unrecoverable. You know, if you get these two kills on the B site without being traded out or losing a member, it should be the round recovered fully. And Kicksack oh. gets cleared out. Now they have all the time in the world to check the boost. I will wait though. That's the question. Bit certainly seems to think so. Bringing it back to the three on three. Sticko rotates in. Five seven. No Kevlar. No one's got any armor on the CT side here, but still fragging out. Oh, a chance. No. That's actually considerable damage here. The bomb is planted, the retake is possible, but unlikely. Bit's just in an awkward position, right? Like, he has to almost get aggressive, and oh, one's coming behind. This is so dangerous. It's all down to timing, and now he doesn't expect it, but he's got his teammate watching his back. Needs one, can't get it, and it's all on Ima. 1v3 as they enter into the bomb site. Solo health as well here, Ima, towards the back of New Box. Peaks out a second offered up, and somehow he's brought this one back. No time, no kill. Sassanito gets towards the defuse, but there's not oh. enough time for it. <laughs> it will be Ima pulling that one out of the bag. That's nicely done. An agonizing finish, though, after getting those two opening frags. They did so much on that B bomb side, trying to fend them off. Come down to the one versus one, but no kit is the difference maker here. And even got some damage off there as well with the Mag 7, but the preemptive strike from Bits, clearing out those boosted positions. Like we said, one versus one, there's no time remaining, and Navi will find a 3 0 start on the T side of their map pick. Nork will have the AWP, but kicks in after purchasing. The Max 7 will be down to just an MP9 here. Galil saved from the previous round as well. It's not looking great in terms of firepower out there. Nork might have to take matters into his own hands as he heads towards A and maybe even the apartments as yeah, he's the, set up. The Galil and SMG don't look great, but with that saved weapon and with, with another SMG, I mean, 2700 built up on your opera is quite nice to have. Whether you can drop an M4 or an easier AWP down the road. Mid pressure coming fast. Nork wasn't ready for it, but Stiko is. Slows things down and gives an advantage over to Apex. This is going to be an awkward fight for Bit and Stiko up in the apartments. Bit got into the corner of the smoke, and Stiko seems to be aware of that possibility, but the fight has not come his way just yet. And JL is a millisecond away from catching kicks and retreating it towards the B site. He's still trying to chase it down. Will be blocked by that smoke, though. That's the last smoke they have over at the B bomb site. That'll fade around, what, like 52 ish seconds? So, I mean, they, there's, a, there's a world of opportunity there that Navi can come back and exploit that B bomb site. Here's Simple. Sees the shadow, knock peeks right into him. So, that off battle was won by Simple. Navi have the advantage in the final 45 seconds. And look at this A setup. The Sassanito about to walk oh. into Bit, leaving just Stiko underneath the balcony. He would need a huge multi kill here to even give his team a chance. And while he's lost his life without a single kill, it's over, it's wrapped up. It's 4 0 for Navi. Well handled, to say the very least there. Simple, being nice and patient, knowing the CTs needed information eventually, and he will find the opening frag that leads them to a pretty flawless round in the end, only dropping him up. I mean, look, how, it's impressive in its own right. You're in a 4v5, and then you win the round four on one. Like, exactly. you don't lose anyone after the fact. Just that one kill that forces a little bit of movement, and you got players in position to take advantage of it. Really well done from Navi. You've got justification to go for a hunt here as well. Bit certainly seems to think so. He's pushing in towards CT spawn. Jacob, he might be able to find the kill here, but ultimately gives himself up. He'll be going down here almost certainly as they'll start to tighten the screws. We'll see Jacob hold towards the oh, there's time. open position. Oh. This is weird. All right, oh. He's found some safety. But yeah, he was in a bit of danger. So now we get to talk about there's that money coming into play with the save Galil, with, you know, the shotgun into the SMG from Kixin. Now you have knock out of a loss with 6,100. He can get the op back, and you basically just get to restart this round or replay the round. Is that a replay of chickens? Yes. A couple of chickens just chilling out in the apartments. Worth capturing that again. Cinematic. Tactical timeout. Jacob drops one. Knock buys the op. Kicks and buys himself, and, and they're sitting. But pretty. it's more of the same, isn't it? They've had so many of these compromised buys. That's that's I guess that's the problem. But you're right. It's kind of the only option. Um, there will be enough for the firepower, at the very least. But we'll see if they actually have a diffuse kit, a decent utility belt. Time will tell. 
Stick out left of almost nothing once again. Come on, Satsunu. There you go, baby. Get that kill. Got a kill. Right at the end. Let's see if that makes the difference. Rough Four start. Nothing. Yeah, very rough start. Tough hole to dig out of. Simple's got the AWP on the T side as well. Ooh, Jacob. Throwing a little bit more of a risk in this play. Straight down, banana, and dead. That's JL right through the smoke. Doesn't say it in the I was gonna say, feed. What's that, what's, that, what's that about? Deep Molotov, a little bit of space behind the defensive utility. And over towards Halls we go. Stiko and Nock have not moved. Well, the B site is open. Wide open, I'm afraid, Dinko. Yeah. Kicksan has literally no utility he and he's in CT spawn. <laughs> Throw like, that in. Like, what can you do? Ah, oh, well, even Stiko's play forward out of the balcony gets caught, so Kicksan about to be kicked to the curb. He can throw that flash, but what a flash it has to be. <laughs> it has to be the best flash yeah. in the history of flash buyings right here. They're rotating one over to help him out. But as soon as CT spawns yeah. smokes, like, that's kind of it, right? Yeah, your only play is flash through and actually kicks him. Might just go for it a little bit early. JL recovers. Even though Nock gets one on the other side of the map, it doesn't matter. Access to the site is open, and Nock's not even considering going for this. Yeah, this is really dominant from Navi. Uh, you're not really making too many mistakes. Bits had a great start in the game, 7-1. Nice to see him feeling comfortable. And you're getting those compounding kills if you're Navi that you love so much. You get the opening pick and then and then you're finding the follow-up. You're finding the, the naked play the next play. The reaction from from yes. the defense is netting you yet another frag. So I mean things are just playing out exactly how Navi wants them. And it wasn't to. even really like they had to fight hard for that opening pick, right? JL just gets a good spam through yeah. the, the smoke and banana. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't trade that kill. You just have a man advantage. <laughs> All you can do is, is not be there, and sometimes that uh, that, that doesn't, actually could you've help. already made the decision. 5 nothing for this Navi offense. Well, the chicken's gone. Gonna get blown up here. The highlight of the round, some might say. But the best flash buying in history did not happen. No, certainly not. This is the opening frag as well. Like, that just kind of summarizes the game for them. That's incredibly unlucky. Uh, Sticko trying to react to the scenario gets taken down as well. Haven't really been close to a clutch scenario or a decent retake attempt. It's all just been saving. Yeah. And now we get into that point that you kind of mentioned where they've had so many kind of labored buys that you right. have to just sort of defend, descend to a half buy around the weapons that were saved. No reason to yeah. like drop weapons and force up as much as possible. Next time you get the full buy that you that you really want. You can still win this round though, right? Sure. Like, there's every possibility that Nort can find a couple of opening picks. They've done that with pistols, but Ima is looking very sharp indeed. Won't be able to find the second. His teammate bit will drop, and his sticko completely flashed. Select to be the preemptive shot. It's Ima that will find his second. Flash off the chimney. Jacob is in towards library right now, so no one is here on the A bomb side. Most will be smoked momentarily, and that again is round over. Yeah, and that's I mean that's Apex as well. So all right, we have these saved weapons. Got to take a little bit of a risk. Got to stack up somewhere. Let's send Nock with the A to B over towards the B bomb site where yeah. Navi's been taking banana control, really challenging. And then you know Navi just call fast towards the A bomb site. Or play towards the A bomb site because they get the kills, they speed things up, and, and you can't ever move into position. So, again, out called by Navi, and six to nothing yeah, will be the score. Six to zero. Last week we had Group B, and you know it, it was rife with upsets. Right, we see Heroic didn't make it through. Big really impressed, and we're able to go through taking a map off Ents in that upper final as well. But this week it feels like there really isn't any upset alert, right? It feels like it's just going as it should, you know, all by the book. Favorites are winning their games. Navi have come out looking really strong versus I think, Apex. I think before the group began, you would have called that potentially with the with what we'd seen out of Navi and Cologne and at Gamers Eight, you might have been able to say Apex can upset this team. Fnatic has some upset potential to him, but the way it's playing out for sure doesn't look like any real upset, significant upsets are gonna happen in this group. Yeah, even that game later with FaZe versus Fnatic, it feels like FaZe yesterday looked better than what I seen from Fnatic time, so maybe that can just be a FaZe victory, but that, that could be the exciting game of the day. Well, here we go. Another here opportunity for Apex. Go. Can they post their first on the CT side of Inferno? They've got everything they could possibly ask for here. They've got the utility, they've got the AWP. One kit, sure, that's not ideal, but it will do. Sticko patrolling in that boiler room position, drops in the grenade. There's significant damage towards Bit at least, but JL, he's got a lot of territory under his remit. Top of Banana is his. Jacob could be flashed in there. See, Kicksan waiting with the aerial flash. Three players on the other side, but Jacob will have to just get one and peel off. He cannot commit to a massive sequence for that reason. 
If he just got the one and fell off there, I would really like the play, but there was no way he was going to get two. So you have to make the rotation adjustment. Second player coming in from Speedway. JL can smoke out CT spawn. Sassanito will drop an HE. But Navi have no real need to commit forward, right? They're just waiting for that reaction from the CT. Simple has his all posted up at CT spawn. You can leave a bit over towards A, just to sort of poke and prod around the setup towards that side of the map. And they're starting to drift an extra player over there to help bit out. So that's Imo making his way back through middle. This isn't too bad, though. Look at the damage inflicted. Bit slow. JL as well. Time is running low. 40 seconds here. Problem is, CTs have no real further utility. They've got what, a couple of flashes. And an incendiary Nork will have to play on the front foot here. Gives up his position, finds Immer, so they're going to try and commit in towards the B bomb side. Now, if they're quick, there'll be no rotating CTs. Kicks and will have to play for his life here. Needs at least one kill to sal salvage the round. Even with the advantage, the rotation's going to be late. It's going to be tough for Kick Sam, but he's rotted himself. He's got his stance, and now he sees the tip of the barrel poking out nice for one. JL. So he's gone, and Sassanito's helped him. So Bit is now left alone, and would need a fantastic <laughs> spin around. He was damn close to doing it as well. But finally, Apex get around. Nice, and with three players surviving, that does wonders for the money. Now they've got plenty of cash flow going on, especially with the saved weapons through some of the past few losses. However, they need to obviously build on this, and they're probably going to need, what, like three rounds straight to force Navi into any kind of yeah. weird money situation of their own? And that's the hard part. The, the, the hole they've been dug into is so, so deep. Well, Blade, he doesn't seem necessarily happy about how things are going. You can see he's talking with some assertion there, making sure they, they follow the game plan going forward. As Jason mentioned, there's plenty of money. $11,000 on Alexi B and about 7 k elsewhere. As we'll see them reinvest, they've got the all for simple. No funny business with the weaponry this time. And it's a similar story for Apex as well, recovering Look, if he could, AK. If he could make a shotgun work on the T side, I'm, yeah. I'm all for it. it would, Let's see that experiment. Sword off. He <laughs> yeah. brought out his sword off. Room. What, a, what a weapon, what throwback. Yeah. JW used to use it back in the day on Cobblestone and well, there's another map as well. I think maybe Nuke, but uh, that was always a lot of fun. If fun's the right word, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, JW was fun. I think that would be the Everything word. Everything JW do is fun. I, I miss those days. Let's see the all out for simple. Deep smoke in towards middle. And the CTs. And JL's already got himself up to the half wall in Banana, so pretty passive over towards B, but they've set up that crossfire at top mid on both sides of the brackets, where you got Jake come in towards Cubby. Ooh, Nork can well be tested up. again. Well, they haven't seen any counter utility, right? So, like, maybe they just line up and execute and go for it. They haven't... Well, let's see, Nork. Transitions towards CT instead of playing from Coffins. Look how far the rotations are from him, though. So, yeah, oh, this he's is doing good. Well. Could force him into the open. JL's going to have to. Ooh, good ball to Oh, he's blinded. Better flashbang. Oh, he's blinded and forced back into second orange. He's under so much pressure. So many different angles to worry about for the Swedish sniper, and it isn't going to happen for him. Apex crumble. Oh, dear. Three kills to Navi, and they're just chasing down the rifles right how through have they the got smokes away with that? and the dink. They run out of ammo. Jake oh, couldn't finish no. it and kicks out now. He's left alone. Bit might even take him out. It could be a flawless round here for Navi. It won't be, but might as well have been. It's going to be seven to one. Oh dear, oh dear. At least if they save the AK, which is a massive if at this point. Well, almost as certainly he won't be doing it. It looks things tap. Um, they're in, they're in trouble because the AK, well, Norg's got AK, but elsewhere it's going to be another timeout sort of situation here. Have to maybe drop two weapons. We'll see. You have the to AWP. buy them, right? Like, oh yeah, for sure. You have to here. Yes, definitely going to buy. It's just uh, managing. What kind of buy they're going to bring to the table here? Who's going to take a, a sacrifice? It will be Kicksand on the FAMAS. Otherwise, it's pretty healthy. Like, it's not too bad. I like it's. I think I don't. I don't mind the switch up of having Knock posted there with the AWP, but you don't actually. You didn't actually show like the presence that you'd been showing previously, right? Like, there's no smoke off in the choke point. You're not doing anything to slow Navi down. They're like, okay, you're going to give us all this space. Not going to block off the choke point. Yeah, we'll just execute it a minute and twenty. You know, like we're fine with it. We're comfortable with that. Well, the AWP is still alive and well, for now at least. Nor could we a little bit more active at the mouth of the B bombsite. Looking for any players jumping up oh. like that. He hits Alexi B. Hell of a flick. Can't finish the job, though, but he knows he connected. He's going to rotate now. They're showing heavy presence towards B. He's high-tailing it. Back in towards the A bombsite. Might tag someone out. Yeah, Kicksam will 
reposition. He deserved that kill with that flick. He, yeah. really he deserved did. it. He really did. And it's summarized in that Apex here, not catching a break until finally Stiko goes into no, the apartments. Stiko, and how is he not taking that one? You gotta convert those. Oh, he definitely should have taken that. Jacob, though, holds strong at top banana, but Simple is the next player to face. And Jacob gets away with that flash that will allow him to retreat to the site. It's actually a beneficial flash from Alexi for, for Jacob. Allows him to cross over even though he gets blind. Simple had to turn from it as well, so took the angle away. Now wrap side towards the eight bomb site is wide open. Nobody in arches. Kixon is shifting over. No utility really left for the apex side of things. Just to smoke on Jacob who's got a hunker down in B. So Kixon in an all-important position. Mm, they're checking the arches here at Kixon. Not giving them a shot, but... Simple not committing through, just had a little bit of a look. He's playing for the rap, the though. AWP's here, though, and it's inside of the pit. It's Alexi B that's finished off, and it will now be the peak through the arches for Kixan, and Sassanito will step up. A strong reply from Apex after a disastrous previous round. It will be a second added to the CT tally, and Bit will try to retreat with the AWP. Jacob's around here in the area. Can even get rid of this AWP at the last few seconds here, Bit. Hanging on to it, spam down through the walls. He'll keep the AWP. And Apex do get that second round. Bear in mind, we're still in the upper bracket here for Apex. Yes, yeah, did get that one yesterday over M80 and in, in quite a difficult fashion in the first map, but yeah. here's that flick. That's really unfortunate, isn't it? To yeah, not well, get that kill. They still win the round. Yeah, so. he got him eventually. Did find he him did, at the end did. of the day. Other side of the map as well. Five round lead. Yeah, like the problem is, Navi, this is a decent T half already. Anything else would be a bonus. Uh, it normally ends about 8 7 these days, to be fair. So if Apex can bring it back online, even win the half, that would be amazing. Uh, they're starting to post a couple more convincing starts to these rounds, understanding what Navi are presenting each and every time. We'll see whether Nork can really start to sink his teeth in. Uh, as Lord knows, they need him. They need him to start finding some opening kills, some space, set him up, allow him to take control. Uh, he's the man for the job at this stage. Well, here we go, round 10. Another intense conversation from Blade. Let's see, has some impact on what's called. And banana control for Simple and JL. Kixon and Jacob to challenge, although it's just a utility dump from both sides. Oh, here's the fight. In the apartments for a bit, he gets dinged, but no death. And Nork has to retreat from that top mid fight. They're sticking around here. Sassanito tried to peek out with a rifle. They're going to be happy with that if you're Stiko, though. You know you got a dink off, and you're saying, like, likely that's the Hulls player. It's probably Bit. Like, they're going to have to be passive in this position now. So you've at least kind of alleviated some of the pressure that was heading in your direction. And JL just barely manages to run the gauntlet. Oh, Jacob, this is ambitious. He knows he's done significant oh, do damage it. here. If he gives it up now to JL... He had all the advances he could ask for. I don't think he has any idea. JL, no way. He slipped into the smoke and it's gonna work out. Well. Oh, that's a big <laughs> kill for JL. Made the most out of that yeah. situation. The fact he even gets one on what, 10 HP? That's massive. But speaking of which, Sticko's starting to show some form now. Got the dink earlier in the round. And we'll see him convert the kill Good eventually. Angle. Four versus two. Can he hold on? He used this angle a few times. It is gonna be checked by Alexi B. Sticko takes damage and retreats into the mini pit. All he needs to do is act as a distraction to set up Nork inside of the site. If they can pull the crosshairs towards Stiko, then the sniper will be given some easier shots, but he misses his opportunity, and Satsunito has to step up. The bomb is now down, and Alexi B has the clutch ahead of him. They'll run into the middle of the site, tap to pull the fight, but no peek yet from any of the Apex remaining members. And Alexi B, this clutch now becomes much more difficult as they convert oh, to on him at the same time. And that's exactly what is needed. He lands that first headshot, but couldn't spin on the second. Now, Na'Vi, under a bit of scrutiny here, giving up a couple of rounds in a row. The money's starting to run thin. It's bit with $2,500. Same story for Emma as well. Simple to the purchase of Deagle. Suggests they're going to go with the more conservative approach. Not going to fully invest here. They got a lot out of a little here. It's a four on two. Alexi B and Simple certainly made things uncomfortable, but the flank was too much. And Alexi B hitting a beautiful shot before he goes down. And you'd think maybe 
That thing considered, that the fact they came down to one versus one, they might yeah. force buy into it, but they, they don't. They take this to partial, <laughs> and for good reason, Simple can make a lot happen with just the Desert Eagle. Beautiful first shot. Yeah, Apex has to be really careful. They deserve a lot of props for getting, as we mentioned, digging themselves out of that economic hole from a, from a zero to six start. But now they have to be really cautious. They don't get reset and broken again here towards the later stages, because that would bury them for the second half. Op shot missed from Nock. And now stepping up and moving forward is Navi being slowed, but still progress being made to a certain oh, extent by no. Navi. No, he ran out of ammo and now knock inside of the side. No finish way! It. Finish your meal! No one HP. That isn't gonna happen. JL oh turns around. My God. And he had to take that one. He absolutely had to just sink one bullet into him. Oh, that was the kill. 17 combined HP. Oh. That was the kill. Well, oh, kick Sam, what have you got left? That's a good stop. It's a fantastic nade into the site. Now does he check the graveyard? It's a tough angle to deal with, especially with a balcony player too. Oh, Kixan, you do not envy him in this clutch. He'll climb up and get peeked. It's Ima in the oh, perfect position and a no. little evil smile from Alexa B because he knows that they've just stolen one away. That's no. the thing when you don't have the information. Obviously, he's been dinked or he's very low. You're just trying to find that USP headshot. Spamming away in a very high-pressure yeah. scenario. Just couldn't find that one bullet and it decided everything in the round. Oh, we're gonna and they can run out of ammo, then peeked with the USP. Oh, that was so moment. rough. And uh, kicks, and even though they were low, uh, nothing he could really do. Time is of the essence, and Jason, he said this was a nightmare reset. Oh, yeah. It certainly is. And Jacob's going to purchase up with what he can, a hero M4. Uh, he'd have to be more of a god than a hero at this point to pull this one off. Pistols otherwise, no Kevlar, and he's going to be tested. The Molotovs rain in, but the flashbang pretty effective. Did the overlooker's position? Certainly not. Alexi B finds the only rifle and confirms the round pretty much here. Oh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I still, I still just have bad goosebumps from that, from that sequence. Simple, easy kill for him. Bomb is at the base of Banana. The rest of Navi is going to fall back and pick it up and bring it along. Bit Nima swinging back towards B and setting up to make sure that nobody from Apex can lock them in and play for exits. So nine to three. Yeah, you can't be bad to this if you're Navi, you're right. The only time where the half gets a little shaky, a little competitive, you just win on the back of a sort of eco round. And it throws you right back. Yeah, it wasn't even it. like the half by. It, it, it was literally it was just eco territory, pistol, so. right? It was a couple of deagles, some PT-50s. That's about it. And simple opening things up. Managed to get themselves a rifle, a smoke. Collapse on the A bomb site. Kill after kill. It all fell apart. Simple. Continues to frag here, but so does Apex. They get a couple here, so not all is lost. Yeah. It's looking good, but we'll take it. you got to try and get those rifles, and Nock will get his hands on an M4. They're on the hunt. I don't know if JL's going to arrive in time to really make a difference. He won't. He would love that second weapon down in mid, and Bit actually takes Sassanito out right at the end there, too. So. Extra insult. Little stat padding at the end of the round. Exactly. I love and, that. And Bit, you know, he's, he started really strong here. 12 and 6 on Inferno. But that's a 9 to 3 scoreline now for Navi, and the buy is back for Apex. Lads have an announcement. I know there's a very special fan watching the broadcast right now who's celebrating their birthday today. Okay. Who would that be? Eric Flom Flom. Oh, yeah. He's co streaming the events as well. Happy so massive birthday, love Flom. to Flom. Hope you're enjoying a day. Thank you for co streaming and carrying Counter Strike uh, in terms of broadcast content. Love your work and hope you're having a wonderful time Huge with the ESL Pro League. Great guy. Check him out. One of my favorites. Hopefully see you soon, brother. And Nork. Oof. I lost him some ELO before I came over here. Did you? Yeah. How much we talking? Uh, something like 500 points. I think, I, I think I'm quite indebted to him at, the, at this stage. Wait, it's like five games. We played like three games, yeah. He, he's got like 19,000 ELO in, in CS2. So like when he loses, he loses like 400 points. That's rough. Yeah, it's, that is rough. It's harsh out there. Got my rating last night, finally. What did I, what, what are you sitting at? at? 15k. Ooh. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Can't get much worse for Apex. They need this round and things just don't seem to be getting better. It was a great flash. Alexi B could see nothing, but still lands the headshot. Jacob can't believe it. And what's going on here? Immer has somehow got behind enemy lines. This is rough. He's got 39 seconds to oh, work up as well. Knock. Nork is like at least out of the firing line. Oh, he oh, just moved he's forward. He's knock knocking on heaven's door right now. He's got a 
take himself an AWP shot straight away into your likes CB, but he's about to get double peaked. He does have the rifle assistance, and nice. Emma's flank around the back will be the execution needed. <laughs> They're so, so far away oh. now. Look at them. They've got no kits, no utility. Three on two, bomb down. Double digits found for Navi. No choice but to save. You're just way too far away. If you had a kit and a full belt of utility, maybe you consider it. That's a massive maybe. So yeah, it all falls apart. Emma with the backstab. Confirms the round. Boys, it's getting out of hand now. Yeah, it is. It's getting really uncomfortable. I feel bad for Nock in that round. He's just going from bad to worse for him. Yeah, no, it's it's not really Apex today, is it? I've just seen Sponge running past, eating a sandwich very aggressively. So he's, What kind uh, of sandwich? I don't know. What Maybe, kind of meat he had in that sandwich? Well, we'll have to find out, won't we? Maybe you can let us know. Uh, using the hashtag ESL Pro League chat, if you could tweet us your sandwich meat of choice. <laughs> um, that would be great. Could be a jam sandwich. Might have no Could meat be. in it. You know? Pe peanut butter and jelly is uh, maybe, Jason. You know? what, what, do you, what do you think of peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Peanut PB butter and, and jelly is the, the best sandwich that, that mankind has ever created, actually. It's pretty nice. I'll fight. I'll, I'll die on that hill. I like them uh, slightly toasted as well. You sure. Tried that. Toasted PB&J? Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty... Be careful of that peanut butter. It gets hot. <laughs> it can on the roof of your mouth. Be yeah. careful. <laughs> but... Uh, Oh, this one, I'm, I'm trying to find some exciting storylines. Yeah, Jacob, I feel you, brother. It's uh, every maneuver, every flashbang is successful, but the shots just aren't landing. Uh, it's getting really, really difficult out there now. They're going to bring in two rifles, three pistols. Need one of those miraculous rounds to fall in their favor. Not many of them have done so far. Just three to their name as we enter round number 14 of the first half of the second map. Sanito, though, with the opening kill, but... He can't hold on to it. Down he goes, and that's one of the key players as well. Yep. One of the two rifles has now been removed. Yep, and now you got to start getting a little bit aggressive to try and pick up the pieces, salvage that weapon, not going to step into a little bit of danger. There goes Stiko, simple reading what was coming, and knock. Oh, wow. <sighs> they just seem to know every little maneuver you've got, every trick. They are reading it well and yeah. continuing to frag. Navi has paused these rounds really, yeah. really well. Like getting a kill and just waiting for the reaction. And one's always coming. JL. He's having a good time against his ex-team, isn't he? He said it, they had it in the bag while he wasn't lying. Definitely looks that way. A little bit of banter about it, but yeah. You know, in the, you solve everything in the server. And JL certainly doing that today. 11 to 3. One final buy for Apex. And a double up set up on the T side, at least in Spore. Now, I know it's last round, so they might... I think they just go for the opening pick. The mid shot and go back and swap yeah. back out. But uh, that just goes to show you how much they are dominating the server right now. You don't see these sort of avant-garde strategies deployed all too often. Sometimes you don't even see one up on the T side of Inferno. Yeah, that's a good point. So you're assuming he's got an AK juggled along with him for the ride. He'll be a T step, so he can change. He's got a whole banana for now. And wait for the aggro, which is coming. Kicks oh, out, Jake and push it. Yeah, and it likes to be goes for that fight against Stiko at top middle. No one really comes out of that one. And ooh, they've got a little pool of AKs, so they'll take one of them. And JR has had enough of the double ops straight away. He's going to go for a little bit of juggling. <laughs> I hear you can juggle, Henry. Uh, that's quite an impressive. I mean, I got the have. most basic level of juggling. I can juggle three balls for about 20 seconds. That's pretty good. Before that's apart. 20 seconds more so than I the can, average. I individual. can juggle, but I need to work on it. It's uh, one of those skills I think every person should have in their arsenal. It's a good one, good party trick. Everyone yeah. loves it. You know, no up. one's mad when a juggle is in the room. No, nope, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what I've always said. <laughs> so uh, maybe next season I'll actually work on it. We'll sure. bring in four balls. Right. Four balls for Henry. And then eventually the bowling pins will come out. Uh, it's, what a wild time Chainsaw. we're going to have. Yeah, <laughs> you're pro league. On the Fire. cycle. All right. Flashbang for Rapside. Alexi's already passed it. Casanito doesn't, Sassanito, excuse me, doesn't want to challenge. And there it is finally at the end. A little bit blind. Finds him along the wall. Him and Alexi had been slowed, but now the B split is opened Ooh, up. Oh, indeed. It is going to be a B split right in towards Jacob and Kixon. Will they be able to hold on? 25 seconds is all the time they have left here in RV. They must get to the site quickly, and they have to get these kills. If it's delayed even slightly, it could get out of hand, and Alexi B will lose his life, kicks it up on top of the coffins, and Apex snatch a fourth round at the end of the first half. Domination from Na'Vi, but a small glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel for Apex. Plenty more of action coming up after the break.
kills from the captain. Strong first half from Bit and JL lead 11 rounds for Na'Vi over Apex is four. And this could be a 2-0 victory coming in for Nata Sincere. Strong opening halves from Alexi B's calling. The game plans him and Blade have brought in today have been incredible. 11 rounds T side of Inferno, 10 rounds T side of Anubis, outplaying Apex at every single turn. Give props over to the staff leading the way for this team. Well, well, well. Apex, what have you got for us here? Four sets of Kevlar, one smoke. A couple of flashes suggest it will have to be an A attack. You don't have enough utility to really justify a B push. And they're heading in towards second middle, and indeed the apartments here. So maybe just a moto smoke, a flash over and try and burst out of the apartments. Seems it's to not, be the most logical call. Yeah, it wasn't a great setup at the moment for Navi. Now they're readjusting into the bomb site, so a little bit more staunch defense, looking for potentially fast hulls, fast mid play. But now set up for the hulls pop. And that's indeed, it, uh, Henry, what's, what's coming? You called it. Oh. Yeah. The pop out of the halls, and it's Bit holding from Pit, and simple. Well, he's got the jaw Barretta's at the ready. It's a little bit limp, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's definitely yeah. flaccid, you have to say. This attack on out, and the gunslinger of simple goes for it again, but it's actually going to be Imma and JL closing on 12. There was no real power behind that, was there? Not no. a lot at all. There wasn't much thrust coming out of the apartments. Well, they didn't I mean, even... The smoke wasn't deployed. It should be towards motor before that flash comes in. Uh, didn't get deployed, and they just ran out one by one, and you could see the result here. Oh, the smoke came in super late. So if the smoke was there in time, like maybe they stood a chance. This time, perhaps? Miscommunication? I, I think the idea is to try and get the most out of the smoke possible. So it's like deploying Ooh. just as they come out, and you've hopefully got an opening frag. And, and also, I mean, the smoke coming over is usually a telltale exactly. sign of what's coming. So yeah. just throwing it a little bit so late. Then. You can see what they've got in mind. But unfortunately, they'll have to get past the auto shotgun once again. <laughs> it's back. Uh, it's been return. 10 14. I think that's it. XM 1014 or 1410? Yeah, the XM 1014. The XM 1014. Right. Uh, we'll Sounds be deployed good. once again. It's got a good flow to it. 
I, I'm not used to saying it, to be honest with you. It's it only this event is the, the first XM time I've actually 14. learned the name of it. You're the, so. only, uh, the only person, Henry, that's had the goals to go for it and actually go for the full well, title. Well, I, I respect Scrawny always goes for it. He seems to know it. Like, he, he knows it's 10-14 time and time again. So I'm just trying to take a leaf out of his book. Sure. Also known as the Benelli M4. Oh, as in in real life. Yeah, okay. It's an, an Italian shotgun, I believe. Yeah. If you want to get into the, the real life. The Nova's comparison. a Benelli, isn't it? Maybe. Not sure. Pretty Not sure. a shotgun expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, oh. I've fired them a couple of times. And uh, unfortunately... Here we go. Bits. Shotguns indoors in the apartment. Simple. Mows them down. It does have a great ASMR reload, doesn't it? That's a good sound. I like the sound of a gunshot, to be honest. Funny. Listen to that. Mm. Well, that is, uh, that's Imma's XM skin that he's thrown over there. So we've got to see Simple's bits, and now Imma's XM enter the uh, into the arena. We're going to have to keep a tally this tournament how many shotgun kills Simple gets. Yesterday it was five, I believe. Yeah, five that. in the Inferno game. So he's had at least what? But he started, on the, he started on the CT side in that game. Yeah, true. And now, now Maybe we're going to use a different shotgun every day. Because so far, we haven't really seen the Nova from him, right? It's been the XM today. So the maybe XM, tomorrow true, we're yeah. going to see the Max Anubis, 7. he was with the XM as well. He's changing things up. Off. So for the gun rounds, it's the auto shotgun. That makes sense. Logical. And simple. It's just fucking <laughs> hell. <else>. Full sand <laughs> again down the apartments. Emma's with him. And Sneeko in the bedroom does not get past Emma. He's, <laughs> he's fighting. That actually does half HP damage at that range. This is into middle. That's kind of wild. JL at the half wall. Oh, dear. It's There's answers everywhere for Navi. <laughs> they, oh. Well, what can you really say about this one? Not much. That's, not much at all. There's still a chance they can <laughs> bust into all to be found the one no thing. way you found wait, the wait, one wait. thing they've actually oh with him rotating over maybe not so much because the, the setup wasn't great towards b had their pounce maybe got the smokes out quickly there was a window but now they are reinforcing the b bomb side they've got double boosts and uh, jl waiting in towards cd spawn as well to bait them in or mr i should say and they've still got a smoke so yeah maybe there isn't much of a hope for apex here giving up the fact they've got banana control will have to reassess their options Nork with just a little here, trying to avoid the 14-4 deficit. And they're in a 5 on 3 to do so. Bear in mind, Simple's already suggested he's pushed down the backtracks. They, they've really lost control of the map here. And with 35 seconds... Okay, a little bit of a fake ski coming in. Yeah, that's about all they can do. Hold three players on this side of the map. If they get two clean kills here towards A, you never know. And Simple, with the shotgun, I know we're having some fun with it, but it's not the ideal weapon for the job. We'll I, see. I don't know. At this range, with a crossfire setup with 20 seconds, they yeah. have to be forced into it. It's the MP9 and the shotgun holding down this A defense. If Apex lose to this very cleanly, then yeah, it's, it's, it's all over here. That's another nice and easy kill for Simple. Eight and seconds. eight seconds left. Jay Kim just desperately trying to hold on to the AK-47 here. That's going to be 14 rounds for Navi. Two away from closing this series. And Simple's kind of doing it to them. He's got so much money now, too. He's thrown away the shotgun for the Galil, which is actually worth less. And he's dropped that a bit. And now he's picked up the shotgun yet again. Jay, I'll take this Galil. Have fun. Jay, I'll take I the this for you. So well, this, is, this is Stiko. Gonna get uh, a little hot and heavy in the bedroom, and then he had to leave. Emma was waiting for him at the door. So this is four. Fourth kill with the shotgun. Boom, boom. Nice, easy ones for simple. Two rounds away from closing out this series, Navi. Two to nothing. If they can pull it off, looking very likely at the moment. They have uh, every single answer to anything Apex is doing on both sides of the map here on Inferno has looked almost more dominant than, than Anubis. Yes, it has really, hasn't it? Yeah. And this could be two back-to-back, 2-0 -back, series yeah. that look really one-sided. So definitely uh, a rough day at the office for a couple of teams today. M80 and Apex. And we did have that matchup yesterday, which was the opposite. Very, very long series between the two sides. And now we get into possibly the last two moments of Inferno. Apex running up Banana is Jacob at the front of the attack. He has got his way through the top smoke and is just waiting inside of it. A lot of damage done. He's hearing those steps. He's hearing them jump around. But can Jacob make anything of this as the smoke fades away? Alexi B is already pushing down Banana. Jacob needs to Jacob. get the trade kill. Come he needs now. to get the trade kill and he nearly gets a double. Still chasing down Alexi B. 
and Jake Kim makes it work. Well, now it's off to the races, though. He's got to beat Bit, and he gets into the bomb site. They need to smoke that cross. Bit still, or excuse me, Ima still has chance to have some impact. Deep flashbang isn't going to slow things down too much, and never expects Jake Kim to go for the full push. So fifth round for Apex is, look, shotgun's been fun. That's not a situation where it's going to have a lot of impact. Certainly not. It is fun, that's for sure. Simple's got 15 kills to his name. And uh, in the second half, the majority have been found with that weapon on the ground there. The XM 10, 20, 10, 10 14. 14. God, I was on such a roll. Yeah, you did it great at the first yeah. time. Yeah, uh, completely fumbled up. And uh, we'll see, well, Apex giving up a bit more than they should here. Bits with two wonderful headshots. Yeah, does painful. he save the XM? Does he save the XM? Yeah, like throw that AK away, <laughs> pick up the shotgun, we need it. Um, but yeah, they're only going to save Galil's here. So it actually is like the nightmare ending for Apex. They won't even have an AK-47 into the next round. Yeah, you don't really have the money to go for that kind of a hunt. And that might be one of those situations where the loss has already, you know, taken grip of your brainstem and you're not fully right. focused on like those kind of details, those like last little inches. So nine rounds back. Jacob does eventually complete the play, which is good because he kind of had to sacrifice a teammate to fully pull that one off. But a triple kill, quad kill, excuse me, is going to make things all worth it at the end of the day. So, three AK-47s. No AWP for Nork. Not a huge deal on the T side of Inferno. He's certainly serviceable with the rifle himself. As we'll see them jostle for control towards Banana, but it's simple. Tucking himself in Boiler. A prime position for this sort of weapon. Not the double kill, though. Not today. As Jacob will silence him after just a single frag. Full banana control granted towards Na'Vi as Bit finds the second kill of the round. His sticker who's had a rough old time in these apartments. Good flashbang deployed for Bit to escape. And Jacob will have to take matters into his own hands here. Avoiding bullets as they're spammed through the smoke. And once again, he'll have to see if he can get behind enemy lines. It'll be a nuisance and he can deliver. Great shot towards library. Now, this is a little bit awkward because Bit is alone in pit. Alexei's over towards Arches, but with all these smokes down and quiet on the map, they have no information of if this is a commitment to the 8 bomb site. This puts a lot of pressure on Alexei to not only find Jacob's lurk, but to really start to understand where he needs to rotate to help the finishing move of this attack. Oh, he just misses out on the inside. I think you might hear the footsteps, though. Well, you can see it's been communicated. JL's watching towards CT spawn. There's the frag. Now they know it's a B split. JL will be activated at this point. Needs at least one kill. Can't oh, find it. So close. A significant damage still in the round. Two versus two. The bomb yet to be planted. That goes down now. Yeah, Molly missed. With Kicksand's health and the fact that it still has an itchy grenade, that could come into play. You have to play heads up here. A good peek. They line up for Alexi B. The double kill on the peak and the retake is successful off the back of the in game leader's lineup. Alexi B does so much in this round to get Na'Vi map and series point. Yeah, did a great job hunting down that lurk and CT spawn. Jacob trying to split towards that B bomb site. Pass information over to JL as well to get him into some safety before this was dealt with. And then obviously this double kill with the flashbang coming in from CT spawn. And that's 15. 10 chances for Na'Vi to close out this series. Well, bear in mind, with this one pretty much locked in, uh, we do have the potential for Na'Vi versus FaZe in the upper final. Oh, that'd be so spicy. That would be really nice. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love that. that um, that'd be a good test for both teams to see where they're at, right? Well, let's see if uh, FaZe can overcome Fnatic first. That's coming up later today. Maybe the next game. I think it is. So yeah. uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's going to be a good one later on. Kicking off at 7.30 CEST. And JL with a double lineup inside of Banana. It's going to give Navi the player advantage to work with here. And, you know, while Simple has the XM in hand, he's tucked in the cubby. He's letting Jake Kim come a little closer into the danger zone. As Simple's XM starts to heat up, the 10 14. He's got a serious to point. Smash Jake Kim here. Yeah, this is wild. They're not even going to check him. Boom! Oh, <laughs> Cleaned up. <laughs> he just gets so mad. When you get oh, killed hurting. by a shotgun from he that corner. It's out of it. And he's alive. <laughs> he wouldn't get he's it. He's got plot it. armor. <laughs> <laughs> it hits. It connected. I wanted it so bad. No, oh, there's a stack here of two players going up on the sandbag. It doesn't even really get revealed on that peak from Stiko. So Nork runs back into Banana, and this might be the final steps of Apex in this series. Navi have come to play today. And this is going to be a 2 0 finish. Unless the Swede can muster a 1v3 right now and keep them alive. It's not looking good, is it? 
chance, and it's knocked out. JL closes the final round against his former team, and Na'Vi walked away with a 2-0 win. Super convincing. Doesn't feel like they got into a spot of bother. We've seen the, the shotgun become a fixture of today again. Simple continues that into day two of the That's all the people can talk about, Z shotguns. Yeah, this is the highlight, really, of the series, isn't well, it? But Apex...